Jetia, this is my cola. Asamene gong. Jetia, this is my cola. Asamene gong. Purely satiric, you laugh and laugh. Asamene gong. The plaintiff, Ni Odoi Sam, is suing the defendant, Ama Empress, for discrimination. He averts that the defendant has turned down his proposal with excuse that he's an old man. He is praying the court to instruct her to fall in love with him or pay a compensation of 75,000 Ghana cities. The court is in session. Authorized. The Lordship, Judge Louise Lamy. All right, be seated. Thank you. <clears throat> Counselor, up. You too, up. Why are you dressed like this? Your Honor, thank you. What? Thank you. What is thank you? Hey, I think that you like the way I, I did it. <laughs> no, I don't. We have a code, a standard of dress for this courtroom. And any standard courtroom. <laughs> Your Honor, you're talking about my colleague's school. I go to a different school, so this is the law abide that we, we do. And what school is that? The Ghana School of the Law, Pidgetia. Is there something like that? Yes, Your Honor. There's something like that. A law school? Yeah, Your Honor. And how come I don't know about it? I don't know why I don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> and where, from where do you practice? Which chamber? Oh, the chamber of pot chamber. <laughs> chamber? Of pot chamber. Pot? Yes, Your Honor. Is that an acronym? No, it's a pot. Only a pot. And what is it with the clothes? Your Honor, sometimes in the court, you touch evidence. So, I don't want to do anything. So, this one is a lot of bad drops. Um, give me your name. Lawyer in Tikat Shebombe, Isaiah. S. <laughs> Qualista. Yeah, the name again? Lawyer in Tikat Shebombe, Isaiah. S. Qualista. And is that part of your name? No, it's my title. <laughs> the X. Qualista. Yeah, it's, no, S. Qualista. Or oh, is it Esquire? Yeah, that's what you talk about. The full name is S. Qualista. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. First class. So, school of the law. so from where you are sitting, I believe you are the, the lawyer for the plaintiff. Yes, my honor. Good. You know me? No, your honor. This is my first time. Your first I'm time your name. in this courtroom, I believe. My yes, first I time know. in every court. <laughs> so oh. this is your first case? Yes, my honor. Wow. Thank you for the word. <laughs> um, um, lawyer, your name? Your Honor, my name is Ignatius, the fiery one, Bemnija. The, the fiery one? The fiery. All that is a name? Yes, Your Honor. It is all my name. Ignatius, the fiery one, Bemnija. And Your Honor, I am from the Bemnija I'm a Kuji and Associates. Your Honor, I want to change my name. In this courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> to what? Your Honor, my name is Ntikatche, the angry one. <laughs> Bombay, I say. Um, Your Honor, I believe my learned colleague here is trying to make fun of my name. <laughs> okay, that's no problem. I think you can go um, down there and then change your name. You swear an affidavit to that and your That's name That's why you swear something. <laughs> that is his name. You just said you want to change your name in my courtroom and you can't do that in my courtroom. You are here to present a case before me. Am I correct? Yeah, but they might add a fairly it's... one. So I want to add the angry it one. is my name. All right, so let's just carry on with the case. Let's hear your case and then okay. let's move on. 
Your Honor, thank you for the destiny. Your Honor, this is a case of feeling bum love. <laughs> feeling bum. <laughs> My client have a feeling bum for somebody, the defendant. But she don't want to take the feeling bum. Your Honor, what happened? My client come to me and said that, okay, I go to look for my client. I said that, you have a case. And my client said that, yes. So, I bring him. Your Honor, let me quote somebody for you. King Solomon, Bible man. He said that, oh, wow, God, your handwork is a beautiful. I like it. All that is in the Bible. No. All right. If they want to write all the things Solomon said, then the Bible become like this. <laughs> all right. Let's just let's just jump that and hear your case. Yeah. Thank you for the jump. Your Honor, my client. Your client. It's a fifty-four. Your client. Yes, your, your, you mean your client? Yeah, my client. This my client. Yeah. Client. Yeah. Client. Your Honor, if you look at my client, I tell him to wear this thing. Because his love background is something bad. His <laughs> love background. Love. Love. Love background. No. Love. <laughs> his love. Na bravo. Na bravo. Life. <laughs> his life is his back the back his background. You mean uh, Yeah. Oh. yeah. So that things he do. Alright, his Yeah, his bad thing. Okay. So your honor, this man, my kind. See the defendant, beautiful girl. And he talk what Solomon talk. Oh, wow, God. Your handwork is a beautiful. I like it. Then he called the girl. And he begin to talk to the girl. That, oh, you know, I want to do something. And the girl, too, he know that my client wants to do something to the girl. <laughs> so he do, she do this thing like she don't like. But my client, it's something he do. All the, the small, small children in the resting, he, he have do ah, uh, so you know that the same thing. Every time, if you call them first one, they do like, oh, uh, but if you give them money, if you give them the resting, then something happen. So he begin to do that. He give the girl school fees. He give the girl phone. Even iPhone, he give the girl. He buy this thing. This thing, uh, you can take this thing for the gay mother. The gay mother take. Um, are, are, you are you sure you don't want to speak chi? To what? Like, <laughs> you present your case in chi. I, allow, I, I can allow you. No, no, I don't understand chi. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, Your Honor, I believe we should find a mode of communication because I'm finding it very difficult understanding my learned colleague with the discipline because and the discipline. I talk to Your Honor. I don't talk to you. But you are presenting the case. I'm the defendant, the defendant's lawyer. So I need to understand you to defend my, my client here. Your Honor, this is the way people talk to a lawyer in court. But he has, he has a point. He has a point. So I think your, your language is a bit complicated for us. No, it's not anything. <laughs> I speak Queen English. If I fo I'm following, you're saying that this man, your yes, client, is a very bad man. Yeah. Um, he, he uses money to bait young girls. Yeah and he does something with them. Oh my God, and, yeah. And so he saw this young lady and he tried to do the same thing, um, bought her gifts, even bought Kente for the young lady's mother, Very bought good. her iPhones, um, and where are we? Yes, Your Honor, where are we? The man stay. he has not got anything. Where are we? Are we go, we are come. That people do something, they don't get something back. Then. What has become the country? So, Your Honor, we have come to you. Even the guy said that my client is too old man. Why? Too old man, so what? My client wants to do something to you. You say too old man. <laughs> he buy this thing. No, so, so it's not like the young lady has done something against your client. He has done something. And that thing the is... The young lady discriminates against my client. The, 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 the thing she's done to him is what? This, you said discrimination. Yeah. And the girl discriminates against my kind by uh -huh. this thing. Don't, for, don't love my kind back. Love is um, a choice, isn't it? Yeah. My so, kind have choose. Why you don't choose? If, OK, fine. I don't have to go into this now. Yeah. So you're, you're done with So, your... your Honor, 
Even the girl have cost my client this thing. Emo emotional and psychological. Psychological. The P is much. silent. You say? The P is silent. Silent, psychological. <laughs> Truma. Yeah, of course, my friend. Truma! Oh! Young man. Your Honor, this guy. It's not a guy, it's your. Uh, your uh, uh, call him a, a Leonard colleague or. This my Leonard colleague. Yes. Joke, we are all beating. <laughs> Look, young man, listen to me. You, 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 what what mo what language do they use to train you in the law school you come from? Queen English. All right, so fine. And you are Only sure you don't want to speak any language apart from English? No, 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 no. The same, the same, man. <laughs> so let's. Can we hear from? So your honor, charge the girl and give my force the girl to love my client and give my client seventy-five thousand Ghana CD as damage to what my client have lost. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Scripta libe libe locus mandamus librum. And that is what? That is three for. In so tap on chenu or jewel. You said ah, it's a Latin. This one is a Latin, and the, this thing to the tree. I explain to the tree for you. This man say English. If the water volumpus the flood, he don't say what. Okay. He say what. So please, allow the girl to say what. All right, thank you. I arrested my case. You what? Arrested my case. It's, I arrest my case. Yeah, you can arrest, I can arrest. God bless you. It's bless, please. Bless, I can't, I can't go on like this. I, bless, say bless. Best. Let's just hear your defense, young man. Best. <laughs> Counselor. God best. Your Honor, thank you very much. And um, I believe this is a tactic by my learned colleague here to frustrate me to go off my defense. But your Honor, lo and behold, it shall not work. Now, your Honor, let me start with this. I believe um, the plaintiff here is a Christian. True or false? Fast. <laughs> but he believes in a deity, in God. Yeah, everybody believes God. Okay. But it don't make him Christian because this man, what the man do, all the this thing, they don't do that. All right, all right. Uh, um, so if you have questions, I think you can ask um, you can ask the plaintiff. Yes, Your Honor, let me let me start with this. Your Honor, the, the my my, my the, cl the client here, it's that not is the plaintiff. My anything. Yeah, it's mine, not yours. <laughs> Not your mind, so please tell him. It is his mind. This is your mind. Yeah, take your mind. Okay, your honor, let me start with this. Let's go into the Bible. And now look at Matthew 6, verse 3 to 4. Objection, your honor, your honor. Why the man go to the Bible? Is this my Bible college or uh, this thing? I think oh. you started with King Solomon. Yes. He's my friend, so I can start. Wow. Can we hear his case, please? Fine. This is your court, so you do what you like. <laughs> Now, Your Honor, I believe the plaintiff here was only lending this young, beautiful, potentially great young lady a help. True? Even the way my client look at me, when he hear help, <laughs> who helped somebody like that? Your Honor! You, you go out, Your Honor, have you helped somebody like that? And you don't want something? It's okay. So, um, this guy, before you take the guy job, you, you don't want something from the guy. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Look, young man, you are getting out of order. I will throw you out of my courtroom. I'm sorry, okay? I assumed the plaintiff here was only helping um, the, the, my, my, my client here. <laughs> if he was, Your Honor, as a Christian man, or he, he someone who is he's mindset. not a Christian. <laughs> if so you need information, you're not a Christian. Let's just leave that. And let's come to this. He says he was giving her something in return for something, right? Of course. Your Honor, that is, if you're giving payment in, in return for, for favors, that is favors in terms of 
sexual favors. Your Honor, that would make my client here, this young girl, a prostitute. No, it make him hang girl, hang come. <laughs> if you have questions to ask, the client is there. Yeah. You can ask him. I need to, if you have answers, no, you can't just answer every question. If he's not asking you a question, some, some of the questions he asks are rhetoric. They don't need answers. Who tell you? All the questions you need to answer. <laughs> then why do you ask? If you don't, if you don't need answer, why do you ask? All right, so the school of... The... Ghana School of the Law. We okay. don't learn rhetoric there. All the things we do by uh, law. All right, so let's do this. Um, Ghana School of... The Law. Kijitia. Kijitia. And then your chamber is? Chamber of Pot Chamber. Chamber. And your name is? Lawyer in Tikat Chebombe, the angry one, Isaiah. So without the angry one you added, it's what? In Tikat, che in tikat Chebombe, Isaiah. Isaiah. Your Honor. Please. So if that is the case, like I said, that will be prostitution, which would be against the law. The laws of this country, against the, 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 the Constitution, and that would be child labor. And your Honor, if it's a gift, then nothing should be expected in return. So, Your Honor, if the court may permit me to ask this man here, that is the plaintiff, a few questions, that is cross-examine him. You may. Please. Please. No, your client. Not you. But, Your Honor, in the film, if the, the lawyer is not there, the client don't talk. So you are here. That's why he, he, and this is not a movie. You are here, and the, the gentleman is here. Okay. Okay. Now, Mr. Um, Ni Odoi Sam, correct? Correct. For how long have you been pursuing this young lady? That is Miss Ama Empress. One year. One year. And... Within this one year, how many times have you proposed to her? Four times. Four times? Four good times. And what has been her responses um, um, all these four times? If the response is a yes, why are we here? <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> then that time my client finished with the girl. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm trying to make a point here. Make it. What has been the responses? Please answer the question. Negative. That means she says no. So why do you continue after the first time, second time? Your Honor, try your luck. If you, you do something wine and you, do, you fail and you stop, then me, I write exam eight before I pass. Your Honor, shall I quote a very creative young man who has entertained this country with wisdom and music? Mr. Felix Owusu. And in his song, he said, First fool, no be fool. Second fool, no be fool. Third fool, na e e be fool. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, he said third fool, na e e be fool. That's why my can't add one. <laughs> to make it. Four fool. That time, no fool. Now, let me quote this man, Your Honor. This is Napoleon Bonaparte when he was exiled to the land of Elba. He said this, Les Krobut de Kosia, what you have to And that, what language is that? It's French. <coughs> Les Krobut de Kosia, what you have to Means what? It means you don't have to do it twice. The scrotum of a fool should not be stepped on twice. <laughs> are, you, are you sure this is French? Yes, Your Honor. I am multi- Lingual. I speak a lot of languages. My lord, I invested 77,476 pesos on this lady. You can't point to her and say this lady. You can refer to her as a defendant. The defendant, my lord. Yes. And I can't see that go waste. That is why I bring this case. Um, please, I'm an empress. How old are you? 19 years. 19 years? And how old are you? I am only 54 years. Minus 19. That is 35 years difference. Objection, Your Honor, Your Honor. Even when you go to look for a job, they say that, do you have any experience? My client, 
Blink 35 years experience. God. So, <laughs> what do you want to have to call you? Sugar Daddy. Boo Boo. There is no connection between the two. Sit down. So you two, you can sit down. Thank you. I understand that you've given her a lot of sins. A lot. First day, I give her 1,265 cities. What for? Why? Your Honor, even before the what for? <laughs> Why? You meet a girl, first day, 70... Oh. Was there a point she ever asked you for money? No, my lord. So you voluntarily... My lord, I am a grown-up. Yeah, Your Honor, that's what all the men like my crime do. They call him Sugar Daddy. He gave you money, bahat bahat. So but she... your honor, me too, I want to ask my colleague crying something. Are you going to be a destined um, woman sister? No. Very good. So, future tense, you marry somebody. Two of us. True. Very good. <laughs> as right now, you don't have anything. Like you have not done anything before. My colleague asks you, you say you have not done anything before. Two of us. True. Your Honor, ask, what's your name? I'm an Empress. Your Honor, your name is not even Mary. So that God <laughs> lets you burn Jesus. Your name is Amma. Why you want to keep this thing? So your case is that because she's not married, no, she should... that wow. one is just passed by. <laughs> You don't want experience, <laughs> mature experience. <laughs> but when the man give you that thing, you take that thing. Counselor, approach the bench. We need the two of you. Behave. Oh, your honor, it's behave. Okay. Yeah. Behave. Your honor, you know I have behave. The man said behave. <laughs> ah, you, you can't be doing this. Hi. I, you, you, I mean, I, after everything, I need to see you in my chamber. All right? Okay. You want to, uh -huh. You see, right now. Your Go back, please. Your Honor, please, please. Right please. She's young. And other, she's going to be an example to other children out there. So you have to handle this case well. Okay. Go back to your place. Your Honor, you yeah. give me a paw. <laughs> order, order. You say, the girl is young. And she's going to be example to. The reason why I called you here is so that nobody in this courtroom hears what I told you. But you shall tell me. All right, young lady, you took money from him. Yes, my lord. You can't tell us you didn't know what he wanted. All right, so this is, this is my sentence. You see, now, listen carefully. Well, your, your sentence or your judgment? My judgment. You see? You think yeah. that I don't know anything. You see that I teach you. <laughs> A judgment. You see, the whole concept and the whole idea about giving or gifts is that they are given without strings attached. So if you called her and you were giving her gifts, there is no way you should expect something in return. The moment you expect something in return, then it becomes a purchase. So you are buying something from her, then she has to give something in return. And if that has to happen, then there has to be an agreement. She should have spoken to her and she should have agreed to give you something in return. But I think nothing of that sort was done. No. And no contract was written. No, no, no. no and no, no verbal, even verbal agreement was no. that, uh, reached. Because as my client tell you, the first time you see the girl, you give the girl ties in two. Yes. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, listen. Love must be given willingly and freely. Love must not be purchased. If she accepts to having sex with you because you gave her gifts, then you are buying her and she becomes a prostitute. And yeah. I cannot encourage this in this country. Yes. We cannot encourage elderly men giving young ladies money and destroying their future. Yes. Young man. Thank you for calling me a young man. These things have to stop. Destroying the life of young ladies. And look, listen to me. Right from the get-go, you know what the man wants. You can't go about accepting gifts from anyone. There's nothing like free lunch in this country or in the world. He gives it to you, he wants something back. If you keep on looking for and accepting free lunch, one day you become the lunch. And you are fortunate you came to my court and not somewhere else. This is the time to work hard. 
pay attention to your books, pay attention to the dreams, the things, the gifts that God has given you. Look, I'm giving you two years of community service at the children's home, the Kumasi children's home. Go there every day, the money you have. I need you to donate 5,000 Ghana cities every month for the next two years to the home. If you are not able to do that, you spend five years in prison. Apart from giving to them, I need you to go there, feed the kids, go and be a father to them. And what betides you if I hear that you are touching or looking at any child in there in a way that is inappropriate. This court is adjourned. That is my sentence.